brain death and coma what's the difference actually both look similar people often confuse between them but the big difference is one is alive and the other is dead brain is broadly divided into two parts cortex and brain stem cortex control higher functions whereas the brain stem controls breathing heart rate and consciousness if one is injured and brought to hospital ct scan reveals severe cortical damage it can lead to unconsciousness and coma since the brain stem controls breathing while in coma one can breathe on his own or he may be put on a ventilator for adequate breathing comatose or vegetative state means the same thing it depends on the duration comatose is short term may be 30 days or less after that it's called vegetative state from coma there are three possible outcomes either one can recover fully or can go to a vegetative state or could be brain dead so brain death is not coma brain death means whole brain has died both the cortex and brain stem thus one cannot breathe and cannot get oxygen and gradually all organs die but if one had already been connected to a ventilator the organs keeps on getting oxygen the heart beats on its own as it has its own natural pacemaker and doesn't know the brain has died the organism is dead but its organs remains alive for few more days the most important difference between brain death and coma is one can wake up from coma but brain death is death brain death is final even on a ventilator once the brain death sets in all other organs die in a short span of time no one has ever 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 woken up from brain death once the brain death starts the heart stays for less than 4 hours lungs around 6 hours liver and intestine around 12 hours pancreas less than 18 hours kidney less than 36 hours there are four steps to diagnose brain death prerequisites examination apnea test and ancillary test prerequisite criteria are irreversible coma of a known cause absence of any drug effects like hypoglycemia hypothermia patient on ventilatory support once it's met next is examination it is to look for absence of all motor and brain stem reflexes like no corneal reflex no papillary reflex no gag reflex then the apnea test it's a test to ensure no respiratory activity when the ventilator is removed it is observed over 8 minutes psio to more than 60 or more than 20 from the baseline If at any point of time any doubt in the examination or apnea test then we go for ancillary test it is to confirm there is no blood flow in the brain either cerebral angiography cerebral scintigraphy or transcranial doppler or eeg once all the criteria are met then the patient can be declared as brain dead often media uses interchangeable names like coma vegetative state brain damage and brain death this confuses people but now you know better coma is not brain death and brain death is not coma brain death is death and living organs if donated can save eight other lives organ donation save lives